So the Bryce Young era in Carolina may already be over. I still think he'll get another shot to be on the field at some point this year, but it it begs the question, like, will he be getting a fresh shot uh, next year? Um, or maybe even at the trade deadline. And I saw ESPN and like the 33rd team, a couple of outlets had their list of where it makes sense for him to try to resurrect his career. And the Jets were on somewhere on both of those lists. Um, for starters, I don't see how it makes sense because I think the Jets only have one spot for a developmental quarterback and they'd probably just go with the guy that they drafted last year in Jordan Travis. Now, uh, because I think you'd want Tyrod Taylor to be the backup for obviously the remainder of this year and Tyrod Taylor to be the backup next year. If Aaron Rodgers is back again next year at age 41, I don't want either Bryce Young or Jordan Travis being his primary backup. I want it to be Tyrod Taylor, leaving only one spot for that developmental QB. Um, now, obviously, Bryce Young, much, much better, like night and day better prospect, uh, widely regarded prospect than Jordan Travis, right? If this was, if Bryce Young was coming out of college and uh, like that version of him, yeah, obviously he'd be a more co a way more coveted asset than Jordan Travis. But at this point, like it's a long shot for a, a QB to make it when they're drafted where where Jordan Travis was, like fifth, sixth round, right? But it is almost equally of a long shot to resurrect your career when you historically flame out like Bryce Young has. He is now in Josh Rosen, Jimmy Clausen, Zach Wilson territory of like it's curtains. Right. And um, and and now when you when it's not your team, you can kind of you can clearly see. Right. Like when it was our guy, it's like with the fighting back and forth. But what you can clearly see horrible situation, terrible situation, bad roster, bad coaching, bad ownership. But also the kid is really, really bad so far. And he just looks so small, like having to jump to throw screen passes over his offensive line. I mean, so now it's like. He is gonna. He is trying to be one of those few names that we throw out there when our whenever you see a quarterback struggling into like year two, you say, "Well, this guy did it in 1984." Like, okay, now you're banking on him to be one of those three or four names that we've known over the last 30 years. It's that small of a percentage. So now it's it's just as it's just as uh, much of a crapshoot as Jordan Travis ending up being a long term starter. So why not just uh, keep Jordan Travis, especially? Yeah, you know, I, I mean, you're not gonna trade. You'd probably be talking about like the the draft compensation for Mac Jones, um, Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, like six round pick. Okay, if you could figure out a way to keep him and Jordan Travis and ballot it out, maybe, um, or if one of those guys can go to the private squad or something. But uh, I guess I wouldn't be bending over backwards to try and get Bryce Young on the Jets personally. But uh, hopefully, it turns around somewhere. I think maybe like the Rams could be a good spot for him behind Stafford. But uh, probably just see what happens with Jordan Travis, and we'll talk about soon.